Elsa? Do you want to build a snowman? Can you tell I just I watched Frozen recently? Welcome to the month in review. This is kind of awkward because normally with the month in review I have a structure. I don't know if you noticed but I'll go personal and then start talking about personal matters that happened in the month and then media and talk briefly about what happened in the media that month if there was anything that caught my eye. The thing is this month I've been really preoccupied so I haven't actually got around to compiling the list yet. Never mind looking at the media, because I don't do that very often. Despite the fact I'm online all the time, I don't really see a lot. I guess that says something about the generation. Or maybe just me. Probably just me. And so, what I'm going to say to you is going to lack structure. Which is going to suck and really bother me. I don't know if I told you, but I did get an unconditional offer from my Top Choice University. I did go to see my top choice university and I wasn't sure this uh, I wasn't sure if it was what I wanted and then thinking about the resources that were around me and the opportunity I'd been offered it felt like the right thing to do so I made it my firm and I applied for accommodation yesterday and yeah things are really starting to become firm in that realm then on the 27th I was due to meet one of my online friends and see the wanted I turned up at King's Cross at about half five. Rachel arrived at 10. It's not her fault, it was the coach's fault. But I was standing around in King's Cross station for four and a half hours by myself. Me just going there on the train by myself was scary. That was the first time I'd done that by myself. So I ended up buying this book. That was a good look for me right there. Which is all about managing the inner mind and things. I haven't got that far in it yet. But the next day we went out to London once I'd finished school. Because I had to go to school and do an hour of work. And then do a shift at work. Like real work, not school work. And then we went to London and this is all I bought in London. M&M's. But it was for my dad. It cost me £9.75 for a big bag of M&M's. I then found out that my dad doesn't really like M&M's that much. I did have a lot and that's why I've not exactly lost loads of weight this week. <laughs> the card from my nana that I got near the end of the month. Dearest Tasha, relax and enjoy being you because just being your lovely self is enough. You are very special and I love you, nana. Good luck with everything. <laughs> and then on this side it says a beach hut to make you smile. <laughs> relax is underlined because I stress out so much. So that meant a lot to me. I'm on my Easter holidays now and uh, I have a party on Thursday and I dyed my friend's hair yesterday. She came round and I did her hair. Now I really want to dye my hair again and I, I've already dyed it this month. That was something else that happened this month. It's just darker. But the thing with my hair is I have bleached this set of hair, well not including the rooty bit, four, four times. I can pull my hair and no hair comes out. I don't know how how I can show you because obviously when you pull your hair you can get hair to come out by pulling it. I don't really want to pull my hair out. But my point is the, the dead ends, if there are any, aren't falling out. My hair is in a pretty healthy condition for what it's been through. And I was saying <laughs> to my friend that came over, to Danny, I was like, now I need to find a way to trump you. Now I really want to bleach my hair and dye it pink or something. I think my biggest concern rather than it damaging my hair I'm, I'm more concerned about what it would go with <sighs> anyway yeah while I ponder over life decisions about my hair color um I'll leave you be that was a really really bad month in review but you know can't be too formal in our everyday life you've got to throw things into the mix I think this is just proof that I need to get used to making videos again <laughs> But because I have two weeks free, you might see me more often, if you're lucky or unlucky.